This is the pan, tilt and zoom security camera from SwitchBot and is only 30 great British pounds. So can it really be any good for 30 quid? I don't know, let's find out. I've been following SwitchBot since their original release of the little rocker switch in 2016 that would turn any normal switch into a smart switch. And I liked what I saw, but to this day, haven't yet been able to play with any of their products. So you can imagine my surprise when this popped up on my Amazon feed for 30 quid. That's right, 30 great British pounds at time of filming this video. And with what it appears to be, no catch. No catch at all, and also, no subscription. Needless to say, I purchased it there and then, and I was so excited that it's been sat on my shelf for the past few months waiting Hello, for me darkness, to make this video. Friend. Sorry. So let's start, as we always do, by seeing what we get in the box. In the box, we get the camera itself, which is 78 by 78 by 107 millimeters and weighs a measly 195 grams. You get the obligatory gumph, a reset pin key tool thing, which you don't see given away willy-nilly nowadays. A US power plug, a sticker, a base for wall or ceiling mounting the camera, a pack of screws, a UK plug adapter thing, and a micro USB to USB type A cable. So for the price of this unit, what can it do? Well, the answer to that is an awful lot, to be honest. So as mentioned, it is a PTZ camera, which it does freely on 360 degree horizontally and 115 degree vertically. It can track and record motion in real time, which can then either record to an SD card, which you need to provide no larger than 128 gig, or to their cloud services storage. The SD card slots into the moving head thing here at the bottom, around the chin and along with the motion tracking you can define waypoints or areas which means I can place the camera in my hallway for example and then define where it would see the front door, the stairs, the living room, the kitchen and so on so that when viewing the camera I can very quickly and easily select one of these waypoints so that the uh, rotating head will instantly move to show you that view and you can set a total of six waypoints. It has a 1080p 2 megapixel camera which has a f2.0 aperture. That was geeky, but it basically means the images show a little bit more detail, but the camera has much better performance in low light scenarios. And as you'd expect, it also has two way audio, so you can talk to your intruders. And here is what that looks and sounds like. Hello, here is what the uh, camera feed looks and sounds like. And if we turn on motion detection, I can actually show you how that works. Hey, hey look, follow me around. Hello, I'm your intruder and I'm going to rob you. It's compatible with both Alexa and Google Home Assistant, Apple HomeKit and the SwitchBot app, of course, which can be found in your app store of choice. Right, let me go and set this up now and I'll show you how so that we can have a little play and then I'll continue to look at the camera or rather some of its other features. I'm ill, sorry. So the first place to start when setting this up will be to jump in your app store of choice. I'm using an iPhone, so I'm going to jump into that. Search for the SwitchBot app. Let's open the app, flick through random junk and get started. So we're gonna give the phone its permissions that it needs to access. And now we're gonna get some marketing junk. Okay, so we click on add. First thing we need to do is uh, create an account. We're in, so home, add. Pan and tilt cam, not the 2K version. That'll be why they supply it. So what you need to do is press the button and hold until you hear a prompt. A little musical prompt. Connect it to my wireless. Hold your phone and show the QR code for approximately 10 to 20 centimeters away. Connecting your camera to your Wi-Fi network. Please do not turn it off. Now this is where a lot of these units generally fail with me. Oh, hold on. We'd like to access your local devices. Oh, it's done. It's worked. And that was like literally seconds. Pick a room where it's gonna live. Use now. And there it is. Oh look, getting behind the scenes of the, uh, of the studio now. 
So one major feature which is missing from most of the cameras that I've played with is the privacy shield. When activated either via the app or voice with your smart home assistant, the shield will come down physically blocking the camera so I can be sure to have 100% privacy, which I think is very cool, especially when you need to remember that this camera is only 30 quid. Insane. Motion detection works as expected, although the notifications and the camera feed do have a slight delay of around five seconds. The novel that came with the camera talks about how it seamlessly works with other SwitchBot products, such as their contact sensor for doors and motion sensors. I sadly don't have any of these at the moment, so I can't test this statement, but the fact that the door sensor can tell the camera when you've come home, so the camera then automatically closes the privacy shield, is pretty awesome. And I don't think I've said it yet, but uh, this camera is an indoor only camera. Do not attempt to put this out in the element as it has no IP rating and especially here in the UK, it will not survive. So why is this camera so cheap? Why does it only cost 30 quid? I don't know. I would take a guess that it not having any of its own internal storage, being only HD and using older micro USB rather than USB-C technology would probably save a few quid. And it has no RTSP support. And if you don't know what that is, then it's not gonna be a problem for you. But having said all that though, this is still a very feature rich camera at an amazing price. And again, has no subscription. So these small negative points I've just mentioned shouldn't put you off in my humble opinion. So what kind of uses would this camera be good for? Well, I see it suitable for maybe a smart home novice, someone who wants to try and play with their first home security camera, or perhaps someone who would like to monitor their pet when they're away from home, for example. It would also make a great baby monitor if it had some kind of sound detection and the video feeds loaded automatically, but it doesn't quite do this yet. Me, however, I'm gonna put it here in my new studio and I'll randomly publish it live on the internet. So if you're sad enough to monitor my channel or my socials, keep an eye out because I'll be turning it on so you can jump on and watch me work randomly or, or dance around like a fool or whatever it is I may be doing. So there you have it, my first look at a SwitchBot product. And I'm considering the original Switch from them and also the little curtain motor things they do. What do you think? Shall I try them next? Either way, in my opinion, the camera is very good, very feature rich and an amazing price. So if you wanna know anything else about this camera, let me know down below, along with any other comments, questions or feedback. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Uh, maybe consider liking the video, even if you didn't, subscribing if you aren't already and hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So until said next video, goodbye internet, goodbye.